Hello students, how are you? I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to the SST class of second standard. Lesson 15, Essential Means of Transport. Before proceeding further, we will have a quick review of what we have learned in the previous class. We have learned the meaning of transport means to travel from one place to another. Land transport, transport that moves on land. Modes of land transport in villages. Bullock cart, tonga, cycle. Modes of land transport in jungles. Elephants and horses. Modes of land transport in deserts. Camels. Students, we go from one place to another to earn money or to study. We use different modes of land transport that I am going to discuss today with you. These modes of land transport save our time. Most of the modes of land transport run on petrol or diesel. Let's have a look. Cycle. One person can sit on it. Bus. More than 50 persons can sit in it. Motorbike. Two persons can sit on it. Car. Four or five persons can sit in it. Auto rickshaw. Five persons can sit in it. Rickshaw. Two persons can sit in it. We see different types of rickshaws in different cities. Truck. Trucks carry goods from one place to another. Students, if we want to go from one place to another, we may go by car, motorbike, auto, rickshaw, activa, etc. While driving, we should follow the traffic lights. Red light says to stop. Yellow light says get ready. Green light says to go. We should follow the traffic lights to avoid accidents on road. Students, if we want to go from one city to another city, we may go by car or by train. Trains run on diesel, fuel or electricity. It carries many people from one place to another. Metro train. We see metro trains in big cities like Kolkata, Delhi, etc. It runs on electricity and it connects different parts of a city. Now I am going to discuss modes of air transport. Air transport means transport that moves in air. Example. Aeroplane, helicopter, air jet, hot air balloon, etc. Helicopter, aeroplane, air jet run on white patrol. Let's have a look. Aeroplane, helicopter, air jet, hot air balloon. And parachute. Hot air balloon and parachute are used by the people for recreational purposes. Students, I had discussed modes of land transport in cities, 
and modes of air transport with you. Now it's a time to discuss important term. Air transport. Transport that moves in air. Example, aeroplane, helicopter, etc. Now it's a reading time. So open your book at page 74. Santosh. My friend Prabhu has gone to Dehradun in his father's Scorpio and Samita has gone to Mumbai by plane. Now Santosh told his friend Prabhu has gone to Dehradun in his father's Scorpio. Scorpio is a land transport and Samita has gone to Mumbai by plane. Plane is an air transport. Daddy we use different forms of transport to reach different places. Underline different, write down the meaning, not same. We are going by train, which is a land transport. And Samita has gone by plane, which is an air transport. Air transport. What is the meaning of air transport? Transport that moves in air. Example, helicopter, aeroplane, etc. Daddy told, if we want to go from one city to another city, we may go by train or by plane. So student, if we want to go from one city to another city, we may go by using land transport or by using air transport. But if we want to go from one country to another country, we use only air transport. Cars motorcycles, scooters are other modes of land transport. To travel within the city, we may use car, motorcycle, scooter, activa, rickshaw, auto rickshaw, etc. Trains run on special tracks and help in carrying a large number of people over long distances. We have metro trains that run on electricity and connect different parts of a city. Underline connect, write down the meaning, join. Students, I had already discussed, we see metro trains in big cities. It runs on electricity and it connects different parts of a city. So students, today I have read page 74. So your homework is to read page 74 again. And do exercise A and B of quiz zone by yourself. Thank you.